What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn discusses how the coronavirus could impact boxing, including Anthony Joshua's next fight. <clears throat> of course, more than 4,000 people worldwide have died from the deadly disease around the world, with that number expected to rise. And Eddie Hearn has stated that these are interesting times, especially being involved in live events. Italy's affected us because we've lost two shows that we're going to have to reschedule. Where all systems go here, our team, we're at a government meeting yesterday to talk about the coronavirus, to talk about the procedures, the precautions, and the potential of looking at if they cancel large events. It doesn't seem imminent by the sounds of things, but I guess it depends on how bad things actually get. Concerning times for event promoters because it's going to cause a big shakeup. We've got a, quite a busy schedule coming up, so we hope that it can be contained as business and business as usual. For me, boxing is unique in many ways, particularly in, time, in terms of the role that the fans play in making a fight peak in a very important movement in their career. I cannot see how things can stage a fight, how cannot see how we can stage a fight behind closed doors with no crowd. Can you imagine Anthony Joshua walking to fight Kubrat Pulev in front of you and me and Adam Smith? It's not going to happen. The crowd are so <clears throat> important to the dramatic aspect of the sport of boxing in terms of being a TV product. And we know that based on what uh, Eddie Hearn is saying, that makes a lot of sense. Um, for example, there's been huge events canceled. Like I'm working in Austin right now to give you an example. And the biggest thing here annually is the South by Southwest Festival. Okay. The music festival. Okay. They've totally canceled that. So if they cancel big events, people are not going to show up because people are afraid. People are afraid to travel. People are afraid to go out. People are stocking their, their houses, their apartments, etc. with uh, added supplies. It's, it's basically looking like post-apocalyptic or pre-post-apocalyptic times because of this, you know, 4,000 people died in when the matter of what, a few months or a couple months, that's big, you know, and it could be uh, a crippling effect if it does get worse, you know, so people are really uh, learning to be uh, less germy, um, really tighten up on their hygiene, wash their hands for 20 seconds. Those type of things can help a lot, you know, and I don't think it would, I don't think people will stop being scared unless there are people that come forth with this coronavirus that are like, hey, I had the coronavirus and I'm fine. Okay. So when you have enough statistics of that, people will stop being afraid. Okay. It reminds me of, of, of AIDS in the 80s, HIV, you know, because a lot of people didn't know HIV turned into AIDS quickly when you didn't treat it right, but they didn't know what it was. And I think they don't know what it is really now. And for us being fight fans, we don't want to go any place to um, on an outside venue when you when it's more than likely airborne. Someone can cough, the germs can get on someone else, and that person to that other person to the other person, and so forth. So yes, it's a big deal. You know, they canceled two shows in Italy because Italy is right now is infested with the coronavirus. Five people in the UK have died. 20 people have died here the last I heard in the US. So it's a big deal. You know, it started in China and it fled all over the world due to airplanes. Right. So, yes, this could be a problem. And, and then what would you rather have, a canceled show or a sick fighter? You know, we look up to these fighters, we encourage these fighters, we're fans, we support these fighters, but we don't want these fighters sick trying to uh, amuse us, right? And vice versa, we don't want to go to a venue anywhere and then get sick for the coronavirus, or that is one of the reasons why we're sick, because of this particular virus. You know, and to shed a little light on it, um, what I've read about the coronavirus, not everyone dies, younger children, older people. That is a huge number still. 
The children are our future. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if it's killing kids, who wants to go to an event or who wants to risk if they have children like a lot of people do, right? We reproduce as humans. So, yeah, nobody really wants to go to that. And then especially you go to an event, you come home and you catch the coronavirus, you give it to your kid. So, yes, I understand this through and through. This could be a major problem. And, and really, not, not a lot of people are thinking about that. Now, the worst case scenario, the people can still fight. It would just have to go on a general, like generally uh, pay-per-view uh, or the zone status. People stay at home and watch the fight. I know they want the money for the live gate, but to risk, you know, a um, the platform of of live the the live gate. You know, I think that's probably if it gets worse, that's probably what they're going to have to do if they want to get paid. OK, that's why the zone is really big, because they don't have to worry about people in pay-per-view, too. You know, you can watch that from here. You don't you know, from your home. You don't have to go to a venue where a lot of people when someone can possibly be sick and then so many people get infected and possibly death because of that particular event. You know, so I think it's one of those things they would have to cross um, when they get to it. You know, that bridge they're going to have to cross. So, you know, we'll see. But no, I mean, it just shows you if one if a couple events can be canceled in Italy a couple in the UK can too. So, you know, nothing like that surprises me, but the overall factor is um, the benefit and the, um, and, and the concern of human life, okay? Because this disease did like just spring out of nowhere. You had some people that do, didn't do the things they supposed to. That's why um, health inspectors are so important, very important. Because now, you know, they see what's unsanitary and sanitary. They make that decision, okay? So a lot of things can happen. And I think, you know, moving forth and forward, you'll have your, you know, you'll have people really uh, looking at food the, a diff different way. Because it started in a, um, a seafood shop or a seafood market in China. That's where it started, Okay. But anyway, um, you guys tell me what you think about Eddie Hearn possibly canceling other events due to this uh, coronavirus. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.